Smoke billows from the rubble as rescuers continue to search for survivors in the Ukrainian city of Dnipro. Emergency teams had worked through the night in the cold and dark, sifting through the debris of an apartment block that was destroyed by a Russian missile. Some people were pulled out alive, some were badly injured. Among the dead was a 15-year-old girl. Emergency workers tried to console one woman who'd lost her son. What have you done to my son? You cowards. I'll curse you forever. Let the whole world curse you. The missile strike was part of a wave of Russian attacks across Ukraine on Saturday that officials said targeted power infrastructure. In a village near Kyiv, one missile landed near this man's house. Elsewhere in the capital, people took shelter after a series of explosions, while cities including Kharkiv and Lviv were plunged into darkness. It's terrible what happened in Dnipro. I hope there aren't any more victims. It's a shame that the whole world is watching this and that no one can stop this horror. They could, of course, but they don't want to. Ukraine's military says it shot down more than 20 of over 30 Russian missiles that were launched in the biggest wave of attacks on the country since the new year. Ukraine's president said the only way to stop what he called Russian terrorism was for the West to send more weapons. The weapons that our partners have in their warehouses are the ones our warriors are waiting for. If time runs out, we cannot stop the terrorists who are methodically killing our people with missiles. Britain says it will send some of its Challenger 2 tanks to Kyiv. Zelensky hopes that will persuade other Western powers to do the same and help Ukraine better defend itself against more attacks like this. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Kyiv.